pro bowler back on the show. He's got eight years of veteran linebacking experience in the league, and um, the way he talks, he proves it. He's, he's here. Somebody wants to know about your glasses. I don't want to know about that. Somebody said they bowled a 206 on their 12th birthday and never surpassed it as an adult. Jalen Smith, how, what is your best bowling score ever? 275 is, is my best score ever. Um, I grew up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, from the Midwest state, where it gets cold in mm -hmm. the wintertime, and we, we can't be outside too much. So I grew up going to the bowling alley, and I love it. It's peaceful. You love it. It's peaceful. I heard you named your bowling balls. That's a little. That's not. That's not a little <laughs> peaceful. That's a little. That's a little extra. <laughs> But listen, my lady calls me extra all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, getting down to the, to, to the details, it, it, it's all about the competition. But okay. you got to have a good time when you're out bowling as well. Did you ever talk to the football? You think the footballs were ever jealous that you're out there naming <laughs> the bowling balls? <laughs> I think that more people should name their bowling balls. Okay, that's a, that's a good take. More people need to be doing that. Uh, you liked going bowling when you were younger. You actually got a car, a Monte Carlo. I, I know everything about you. I just I got the skinny <laughs> on you before the show from somebody. That you had a car and used to drive your siblings to go to go bowl, which is amazing. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, growing up, getting my first car. Uh, my dream car was a Monte Carlo, but <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't a 1995 the, oh, okay. the car that I got. Uh -oh. I, I wanted the, the I wanted the 0304. But okay. I'm, I'm humble and, and blessed for for my parents of thinking of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, 17th birthday, your parents got you a 95 Chevy Monte Carlo. You took your siblings ice skating to the movies, <laughs> and then there's a moped story. What is the thing about you? I know, I know, I know that you love your mom, but you, you, did you get in trouble from your mom? Um, I did, Jayla. I did, but I will say. So my favorite color is orange, and I know that too. when it was time for me to get a moped, I was able to get that color. It wasn't the brand that I wanted, but you know, along the lines, you got to make sure you, you're being graceful. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to still be here and alive and. I also know how to drive now, too. <laughs> we love to hear it. Last one for you of this just stuff that I know about you. You worked at Burger King. Now, now those commercials are the worst commercials I've ever seen. Where the guy is singing, <laughs> I hate these commercials. And he says BK. Did you? Was it called the BK? Was it called BK? It wasn't branded that much as BK. Right. My, my time working there. But it's definitely given me an inspiration to get into the restaurant industry. <laughs> okay, okay. I know. Well, you're in front of the camera now, and you, you of course, has had a, a brilliant season, six locker rooms to talk to you about. The Cowboys, the Packers, the Giants, the Steelers this postseason, of course. You are a self-made entrepreneur. We can't wait to get into some of this. Um, let's talk about your season. You started with the Ravens, the Raiders in November. Then you joined the Steelers towards the end of the year um, for a potential playoff run, but they were decimated with injuries, of course. Now, there's some out there who suggest that maybe the Steelers and Mike Tomlin have run their course. Maybe it's time for him to move on when the contract is up. How does it feel to you? Mike Tomlin is there. He's proud. He's loved. And he's going to be ready for next year. Mm. Uh, 17 seasons of having a winning record, uh, not having a losing record, is something to be uh, astounded by. And the players love him there. The city loves him there. Um, I have a personal relationship with Mike Tomlin. Uh, just kind of ran out of time uh, for me to get a chance to play this year. But the, the beautiful thing about it is he's coming back, and I got faith in him for sure. And how about you? What does is, what is the future look like for Jalen Smith? Finishing my eighth year of my career, uh, traveling to three different teams this year, um, I know I still got a lot left in the game. Mm. I know I can still produce at a high level. For me, it's all about opportunity. Um, but I'm a guy that, that's much more than ball, so I'm going to train. I'll make sure I'm ready. Okay. Uh, but I also, I also get an opportunity to hang out with you some more. I love this. You're in front of the camera. I know. You, I mean, you, we've always known from back in the Cowboys days. You had a future in front of the camera, and maybe we'll get you to do that. Um, you can do that now while you play and while you stay in shape and while you're an entrepreneur of all of that. That's really amazing. So let's get your takes on a couple things here. Ravens-Chiefs game. This was a defensive showdown, 17-10 um, final score. But if we talk about offense very quickly, we're seeing this vintage Travis Kelsey reemerge this postseason. It's been really fun to watch. Now, you played against him way back in 2017 when you were taking on Torrey Smith, too. It was week nine. He caught that touchdown you just saw. Why is Travis so hard to defend personally with your experience? 
I believe the chemistry that he has with Pat Mahomes is untouchable. Um, and then outside of his elusiveness, he's able to get open at the right moment at the right time. Um, and that's where he's been able to be consistent with, and we see his success. And then when you get into the playoffs, when you have experience, uh, veteran experience in the playoffs, it's a different type of ball. And he doesn't rise to the occasion. He sinks to the level of his preparation. And I, and I love Travis Kelce for that. You know, we as a nation, uh, we as a, you know, a, a football world, we love Roquan Smith. We love him. He's intimidating, to say the least, one of the best. I loved him in Chicago. Now, linebacker to linebacker, was this penalty by Roquan worth it to send a message? It makes sense, but at the same time, when you're – every inch matters. Every every down, every yard matters in the playoffs. So it's, it's more about the timing of – when he did that for uh, for me, but Roquan's a great guy. He's a team captain over there, and he's going to give it his all regardless. What did you make of Lamar in this game? Because we were just, talk just talking to Torrey Smith, of course. You know, Lamar's getting a lot of grief for his postseason, two and four. There's, like, this cloud hanging over his head. When you watch this game, you know, they abandon the run a little bit. He's having to put a lot on his shoulders. What did you make of Lamar's performance? I wish they would have run more and been, and been uh, committed to it and live and die by the run. Because Lamar Jackson, he's a great passer. He has a lot of talent behind him. Got some good guys up front. You know, what makes him different is his ability to use his legs. And AFC Championship game, you got you, you to gotta do what got you here. And, uh, you know, we love Lamar Jackson. He's multi-talented. He's our MVP for this year. That AFC Championship game, run around like, like Vic and Moore. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's my advice next time. <laughs> Uh, the Niners, uh, they have this epic comeback in the NFC side of things. They've got this defense. You know, Torrey Smith's on here so, saying they can rush four. Chase Young's going to have this brilliant game. Their secondary is a little sus. Which defense do you find more intimidating going into the Super Bowl, the Niners or this Chiefs defense that's really carried them and gotten them to where they are? I believe, I believe Chase Young will have an amazing performance in this Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Why? Because a lot of the attention is going to, to Nick Bosa. But you know what's crazy is when you're playing against the Kansas City Chiefs in, these, in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. they have been there. They have done it. Legereus Sneed is playing like the best cornerback in the National Football League. Um, Nick Bowden, Drew Tranquil. Shout out to Drew Tranquil. He's from my hometown, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Amazing. My Notre Dame Irish brother uh, getting a chance to – to win a Super Bowl, but they are flying around. Uh, we know what Chris Jones brings to the table. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just going to come down to can Brock Purdy get off to a fast start? If he can, I like their chances. When you're watching these games this past couple weeks and he's not off to these hot starts, and I talk myself out of it, I go, he can't come back from this. This team isn't built to come back. And then he does. What is it that's happening that he's not off to a hot start? Like, How do you size up Brock Purdy from your vantage point? I think a lot of it may be just trying to fill the game out hmm. uh, instead of going in with that attack mindset from the beginning. Um, I do think with, with the 49ers having an extra week to prepare uh, for the Super Bowl, they'll be better, um, you know, they'll be better well-matched. But it's, it's a game that we all look forward to, and you just never know what's going to happen. Now, last time we talked to you, you – drop this gem on me. Once a cowboy, always a cowboy. So, okay, okay, that's what you said. Um, and I see with this heart emoji after the first round loss, what is this about, Jalen? The heart emoji was, you know, just for the fans of, of understanding that, you know, it's been so long since the Dallas Cowboys have won. And it's something that needs to happen. You know, for us being America's team and, and, and having all the support and, um, all the criticism for when things go wrong. It's just something that the, the fans deserve. The fans deserve to win. So I was feeling uh, for Dallas Cowboys Nation, and the only thing that matters is what we do next. You know, for, for me, it's spending five years there. It's embedded in my, in, in my soul for uh, Cowboys to be successful. And for that not to happen was just kind of heartfelt, for sure. 
And now, they didn't get rid of Mike McCarthy. You, of course, are a cowboy. Were you happy about that decision? They, of course, lose Kellen Moore now. Um, you, Mike McCarthy, I don't believe he's the full problem. I don't believe he's the problem. I think it, it, it's it's players and coach. I think that, you know, going into the game, the, the, the Packers, you know, wanting the ball, going down and scoring right away, uh, that momentum, you know, the Cowboys, we're, we're, we're generally amazing at home. When it gets to the playoffs, we have to make sure that we start fast and finish strong. And that's just something that we've been, um, you know, short of for these past few years. Mm, and hopefully they can turn it around. We don't know what's going on with Dak. It's very quiet on the Dak front out here in the, uh, these NFL streets. Jalen, we appreciate you. Do you want to give me your Super Bowl pick before you go? My Super Bowl pick, I'm rocking with Pat Mahomes, the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe they're going to do it again. And he's approaching Tom Brady level. And um, it's, 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 it's amazing to see his success at such a young age. None of us thought this would ever be replicated, you know, from me being a Tom Brady fan growing up from when yeah. I started watching football until – Pat Mahomes taking this this torch and, and running with it. So I, I got Kansas City on this. Jalen, we appreciate it. You're saying it. We hope it happens. Maybe we'll see you in Vegas. Who knows what you're up to. But Jalen Smith, we're going to keep training. We're going to do some TV things. We're going to do some entrepreneurial things. We're wishing you all the best. Keep crushing it. And uh, and get, get to 300 on the bowling score, my friend. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, I'll, see you, I'll see you out in Vegas if okay. you're out there. I'll see you, Jalen. Bye. <laughs> all right. We'll Bye. Be back.